Hey everyone, Nunu here, welcome back to New Grimoire. Now, on the last episode, when I was editing, I realized two things that completely uh, were um, forgotten or I basically didn't look at them or, or didn't notice them. Uh, one of them, and probably one of the most important things, is that I realized we are now on the green, so that means we are profitable. We are not making that much, but we are having a good balance in here uh, to the point that we barely have any kind of government subsidies, uh, and that's good. We do have a bit of service trade. We're getting some money from service fees. We can see that we are making a lot of money from parking fees, and that's good. Um, public transportation, not as much, but parking fees, we are making tons of money. Uh, plus, uh, also from taxes, which is always good. Now, this value can, and I can see that it it will fluctuate a little bit. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's good to know that we are finally on uh, the green, at least for this short period of time. Uh, another thing that I noticed that I completely forgot was naming our bus lines. Um, one of the bus lines, I did name it A01, but the second one, which is our industrial line, I didn't. Um, uh, and I kind of used that opportunity also to think about a naming convention for those bus lines. And one of them is the fact that I want these two have like a letter and uh, one or two letters and then the number and I'm thinking at least what I was thinking is changing the the name for B which means it's a bus line um, R because it's a bus line that goes onto a residential area and 01 because it's the first bu bus line like that um, this second one which is the industrial one I would go like BI so because it's bus industrial 01 um, that could be one of the one of the ways of of basically um, calling the lines, but it would become a little bit more confusing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call it B02 and the first one B01. So basically, I'm just gonna use the naming for the, the letter for saying what kind of bus we're talking or what kind of transportation we we using. So the B for bus. If we get trams, it's gonna be a T. Um, if we get a train, I mean, trains, I'm not going to really have uh, this kind of naming, I think, I guess, here on trains, and we do have trains, uh, I would say that, and I would like to know where this train is going, basically, I think we, we may have, um, so this is a big one, so let me check uh, where it goes, so we have this train, that goes up to here which is Fulda so I would say uh, probably and where is the train station what is the district for the train station so it's Broadcrest I could say Broadcrest station to f to the to um, this is Fulda okay so we can go like I could say new grimoire new grimoire and Fulda so that would be the first one and the second one goes up to here to Carrick so new grimoire Carrick and is it Carry. Okay, it's like that. So yeah, the trains, I can use the trains in this kind of system or this kind of uh, design. All right, so now that this is done, what I wanna do is look into the map and try to figure out what really is important to do. Um, one of the things I'm kind of, I'm not gonna say scared, but I'm kind of like looking here at these landfill. And I know that the landfill is not even close to be filled or full. Um, so we could keep it this way. We could keep the landfill operational the way it is. Um, it, it has a little bit of um, area in here where we can deposit all the trash, but I'm kind of, thinking if this location near to these farms, if this is really the best location we could add, 
because we also could be placing it somewhere around here on these tracks, for instance, and it's it wouldn't be much of a problem. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking, also looking at the natural resources, uh, you can see over here we don't have anything, but here we still have this fertile land that we're gonna build on today's episode. We're gonna have to build something around here, maybe we're gonna unlock this, which wouldn't be much of a problem, or wouldn't be a bad idea, to be honest. So my idea is, can we move, can we relocate this? Uh, let me pause the game. It seems like we can. I'm not sure if it is the best option. What is this one? Emptying. Okay. Uh, and if we relocate, that means we're going to build in this section some kind of industrial area. Because I'm also looking into the possibility of building a stone uh, industry um, area where we can get our stone for our uh, production. So... Having that in mind, and I pause the game, um, maybe I shouldn't, but, uh, well, it doesn't matter. And oh, we are now on the on the red. <laughs> so we are kind of getting to that point here on the, on the budget where we're going to be fluctuating a little bit between the green and the red situation, uh, which, which is completely fine. So I'm thinking, where should we be placing our, our, um, yeah, I think we could... And we do have like these districts. Maybe we could build another district and probably build some industrial area. Okay, you know what? I know what I'm gonna do. I am going to, hopefully, let me check um, how much or how, I think seven and a half is like a good value or it's high enough, is it? I don't know if it is. Let me check if we can cross. Yeah, we could cross like that. And that wouldn't be too bad, would it? But it looks, it kind of looks strange. And I kind of don't like it. <laughs> So I'm trying to figure out what would be like, would that even make any sense? I think we could build up something more or less like this and maybe I don't know it, it okay we can connect it like that train can go underneath it no problem we can also try to Could also go like that, couldn't we? Yeah, we could. And this way, I can even erase this one. There you go. That's not too bad. This is a bit. This cliff in here, or this, um, this is a bit too high, I guess. But it wouldn't be impossible to to be built um, and I think it could work just fine and now we can just lower it down and uh, we could make it like a bigger now let's go straight I think we could go for a 3.7 so because this is bigger it takes slightly more time to go into that area but I'm, I'm fine with that and now we can use this entire lot to just build something I mean we may even go to a point where we could connect somewhere else uh, I'm looking into maybe around here 
that wouldn't be completely impossible that we would make we would have some kind of connection in here um, and this one we can even use it in a way that and let's just turn um, turn this off we could even connect it through here um, which is kind of okay I guess it's a small road probably not a lot of cars gonna be going through these tracks and therefore it's fine this in here would be probably the primary um, road to have access through here uh, and eventually we could even use this entire area to have some kind of connection around here in this highway so our industrial buildings would be fine I guess completely fine and the main reason is I don't want to expand anymore the um, this new this that district sunny side crossing I guess it's 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 all complete I I don't want to go further uh, unless I remove these um, landfield which probably is gonna be the situation removing the landfields um, to give a uh, place to a couple farms maybe livestock farms uh, and then you know keeping more in industries around here so let's build a small grid around here and I'm gonna build now or develop right now a grid design through this entire section and then I'll be back to you guys
so we build here in this place a little bit of industry as you can see a bit of commercial buildings also um, some residential houses also because we have a lot of demand for low density houses so we built a couple of them mostly for the people that are living nearby these industries I think they can live here and just go there there's like these small neighborhoods um, there's also connection through here so if they want to they can come through here one thing I wasn't expecting was to have so many trucks going through here uh, but the fact is this is faster or closer to uh, to the industries than going all the way around um, one thing I may do is kind of try to um, I don't know if I can just say hey you guys big trucks you cannot come through here I have no idea if that is possible maybe it is let me look at to uh, you know this all belongs to Blackwood Heights so yeah I would say it's it's still gonna be possible I mean this is not very f reasonable because trucks big trucks going through here doesn't make much of a sense but the fact is this is how they're driving at the moment <laughs> I wasn't expecting it honestly speaking um, either way we now have a couple of industries in here I'm kind of happy for the way this is looking like or the way this is uh, going and um, that's fine for me uh, I would like to know why um, can I click here and try to understand what kind of industry this is uh, no this is available for rent so it's an empty this is for wood this is empty <laughs> okay that's fine uh, either way now now that we have expanded slightly we still have a lot of demand of course and I was thinking about and the next and the next part I'm going to expand either is going to be around here or this entire area which I think this would make more sense for for me to expand but now that we have moved our landing field and um, we have built this new industrial area I'm thinking we should also be able to build now the stone mining um, industry and we need a couple of them and I'm thinking to have them nearby probably nearby the uh, the landing field or these yeah I think nearby the landfill should be fine um, it, it's but I want to do something I want to do here's what I'm gonna do um, first of all I want to build up where this is going to go and I'm thinking we can have like a small I think we could even go a one lane one way lane something like that and I'm not sure I think we can go like like that something like that and we can build in here this stone factory or stone area which is going to be pretty much probably next to here and I think we can even go like that there you go this is all cool but I kind of want now to use our landing terraforming tools and I kind of want to grab a higher level there you go and in fact I think we can even go a bit higher let's make this smaller brush something like that and this means we can have like a good part of that is that looking at here it 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 does feel like you have a, a bit of uh, stone that you can extract now I don't know how much we are gonna get from this extraction I guess we can check it out looking here into production we only getting like 1.9 tons no 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 we getting more oh yeah <laughs> we getting a lot of we getting a lot of that wow that's that's quite a lot and this is good enough so this is good for our citizens that we are now producing rocks on our own um, 
on our own city because now they can buy the resources for maintaining their houses for a lower fee. So that part is done and I'm kind of happy for building this because now, now we're going to have to have a look into this. We need to go into, in fact, all of these four farms, right? Which should be fine because we're going to build around here. We're going to go to Maple Brook, which I think we could now kind of expand up here. So Maple Brook is slightly bigger than Sunshine Crossing. I guess oh, I guess Sunshine Crossing could also. Let's just change this because they have grown up slightly a bit more. There you go. All right. So Maple Brook, we have now this interesting area. We do not have, this is the fun fact, is that, you know, I can increase, first of all, I can increase the, this. I think we can increase slightly this. There you go. And have like a bigger, bigger farms in here. This is livestock, right? Yeah, this is livestock. And we're doing, we're doing good in here, I guess. We now have bigger livestock farms. I'm. Livestock is, we need to improve our production for livestock. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to build a couple more livestock farms. In fact, I think we can have, maybe we can have like a big one in here, like this one, you know, and this one is going to be extremely big. This is where the landfill used to be. <laughs> no longer is. So there you go. I guess now we can use this one. Okay, to snap all this. And this is going to be a big one. I guess this is going to help us produce more livestock. We're also going to buy this plot. This, I think I'm going to buy this three. You know what? I can buy this four and have all this area unlocked now. And let me look into production and see how livestock is. Let, let me speed up more and see if this is going to help at all. I don't think one livestock farm would is going to change much. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. It is. And it isn't. I don't know. that It fluctuates quite a lot. Maybe we don't have enough. Do we have enough workers? Production in here, eight em employees. Uh, yeah, I mean, livestock is, we are, we're producing enough livestock. We should be, I mean, vegetables, I understand. Uh, mostly because vegetables, we're not producing enough, but we should be producing a lot more livestock. I guess we need more of these farms. And that is what we're gonna be doing. production is now we are not producing some of it we have i mean we basically what happens in here is that we are helping our in industries to become more profitable it's 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 not solving the issue 
Um, some of our production is definitely we are we have surplus so we can export them but all these other ones they're going to be used inside or so for our own industries and I'm hoping that maybe when we get to spring and summer we will get um, these industries um, or these farms growing up and of course with the time being um, if if I see it fit we can then update or add more farms into our city all right, so now that we have done that, I kind of want to continue to expand our, our, our own city, maybe build up this area or build up here because we have so much demand. I mean, we have a lot of demand and I'm looking into this section around here and I'm looking at, this could be perfect for another low rent um, apartment and this one is gonna be big. This one is gonna be huge, yeah. I can see this is going to be huge right next to the tracks here of our uh, train station and I don't think our train station is being very used I mean we, we have we have a couple of lines but uh, I was hoping to have like um, outside connections I guess we don't have that many which is kind of a shame but uh, yeah you know it is what it is uh, I was hoping that we had more passengers coming in and out uh, it's not happening. Uh, we can look into here, into our uh, public transportation. I guess this one shows it better. So yeah, the buses are having quite a good amount of, of citizens. We have 4,000 citizens and like maybe one-fourth of them are using our bus lines. That's good. And trains, yeah, we have a couple of them. That's good also. I'm not um, completely unhappy with that. I kind of want to... You know what we could have done? I could have bought this plot of land, which doesn't have much land, but I could have some kind of connection to here that goes down here and it would uh, eventually connect through this and they could have an easier access through here, probably. I'm just looking at these possible solutions. And um, let's also build, there's still a lot of demand for this high density um, buildings or low rent buildings they're low rent but they're that that's fine I guess we could also build a couple of houses around here smaller houses like here 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 I wouldn't mind that although some of them would be big but they're right next to the college so that's fine all right so what are we going to do now? Um, we have a lot of demand for industries, commercial, residential, offices. I'm looking into offices and I'm looking into this area in here. It does seem like a good section to build a couple of offices. So I'm looking into building it like that. Which is quite an interesting concept, having like these big, bigger offices around here. Land is not flat, but I'm fine with that. And yeah, I think we're going to continue to expand our, our own section here. I think this is going to be the best approach we have. I mean, this is for rent still.
Okay guys, so I'm kind of back and I see that we have like a lot of traffic around here. So we kind of have to figure out what to do in here. And I'm thinking maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea to just place a roundabout around here. But the problem is it's not going to be easy to add a roundabout. Mostly because we have a train station. And yeah, that is going to be complicated. So what can we do here? Uh, I would say we could have like dedicated lanes, but we have like, you know, maybe, maybe the traffic in here is not as much as we think about, but the problem may be this uh, section that may, uh, maybe it's using, yeah, we don't need these to have, uh, oh, there's, what, what is happening here? Why is these guys all stopped around here? Oh, <laughs> people crossing. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking maybe we don't need all of these. Yeah, we probably don't need all of that around here. I would say we don't need all these traffic lights around here. We do have like a lot of traffic going on and out of the train station. So I guess we're finally kind of having a lot more movement here on the on the station. Uh, mostly because, yes, we are having a lot more people coming in. We have a lot more uh, businesses, a lot more life here on this um, peninsula. I would I would say so. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe and leave a like, a comment, if you have seen something that I did wrong or something that I said wrong because I do say a lot of things that uh, sometimes makes no sense. I don't know why, but yeah, that's me. And yeah, I hope to see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Cheers.